Ranjini Menon. I am from Kerala, the southern part of India, and now I am showing the Malabar Royal Cuisine. Now, what I am going to show to you is puli inchi, or rather, it's a chutney made of tamarind and ginger. So, this is tamarind ginger chutney, and the taste is sweet and sour. The combination, sour as well as sweet. Of course, it's spicy too. So, what I'm going to do right now is pouring some oil here. It's a hill station. This is Vayanar, the hill station in the northern part of Kerala. So, for us, it's like this coconut oil will become like this, frozen. So, I'm adding two tablespoons full of coconut oil. And in this coconut oil, I'm going to roast the ginger. That is straight from my garden. And uh, why not is known for spices. And the Malabar coast Kerala is very famous as the spice coast of India. I have grinded the ginger in a blender and squeezed the juice out of it. And only the fibrous part I've taken, not the juice. So usually in cooking, Everybody will think that we'll be using the juice, but in this, it's not the juice, but it's the fiber part of it. Okay. So I'm going to put this ginger in this oil, and you have to roast it. You have to roast it very well till it is golden brown, and you have to add some fresh diced green chilies. Don't be afraid seeing this much green chilies. I love spicy food, so I put a lot of green chilies. If you don't want that much, you don't put. Put some salt in that. Maybe half teaspoon of salt, so that the roasting time can be saved. Now it is golden brown in color, and now I'm going to add some sesame seeds. And uh, this puli inji is a very common dish in Kerala, the south of India. For all festive occasions, on our banana leaf feast, we call it sadhya. In that, we serve this dish. But I am giving a royal touch to this because I am from the royal family of North Kerala. Uh, we, the dynasty, is called the Zamorins, and the Zamorins were the first hosts or the first ones to host Vasco da Gama, the explorer, to the Indian coast Malabar. And I'm from that lineage. So in my palace, if my ancestors and my great grandmother, grandmothers, and all, they used to cook the secret thing they add in this pulinji. Ordinary, everywhere you won't see the pulinji recipe. When you Google, you will not see this uh, sesame seeds in it. But in this, I'm adding the sesame seeds. Only in the palace you will see this. Next, so sesame seeds with the roasted ginger and green chilies. Yes, the sesame seeds are splattering. Mm. So most of the Kerala dishes, we add many spices. Whether it be non-vegetarian or vegetarian, we cannot avoid spices. And Kerala is otherwise known as Kerala is the land of coconut and of course Kerala is also known as the land of spices so spicy chutney tamarind ginger spicy chutney so now I'm going to add some turmeric powder in this which is an inseparable ingredient in all Kerala dishes or Indian dishes and of course some fenugreek powder this fenugreek seeds we have roasted without oil, dry roasted and then it is powdered. So, but when you add the fenugreek powder, be very careful. If you add more, the curry will taste bitter. So, a little with a pinch of it. See the color? Mm -hmm. I'm adding two full teaspoons of red chili powder. Now, I'm going to add the main part of this chutney. The main two things are the tamarind part and the ginger part. 
so I have already added the ginger now it's a turn of the tamarind juice Then you add tamarind juice. Now we have added all the spices and the tamarind juice. So I'm sure that this chutney will be very, very sour and also spicy. So to balance the taste of the sourness and the spiciness, we have to add some sweet also. So which color will balance this color? I'm sure the color of the jaggery or the brown sugar or the unbleached sugar. So now I'm going to add unbleached sugar or palm sugar or even jaggery to this. So now the chutney is getting thicker with the tamarind juice and now I'm adding some melted jaggery. Why I'm using the melted jaggery? The reason is there could be some uh, lumps or even uh, it is not refined like a bleach sugar so no dust nothing should be there so it is melted and sieved so that it will be very clean mm. it can be uh, almost a cup of thick melted jaggery now the sweetness is there in this chutney that's how it becomes the sour sweet chutney or the tamarind ginger chutney or pulinji we call it and now it has to thicken a little more when I add the jaggery in it Definitely it is watery, so it needs to be thickened. Once the chutney is thick, I have to add one more ingredient. Uh, this is esophytina, the powder. In sambar, in most of the South Indian recipes, you will see this. And this is aroma is so striking. And we add this, it looks like a fenugreek powder. That's it. That's it. Yes, the chutney is ready. We'll wait for a few minutes uh, to get it thickened. And once a flame is off, you have to wait for another five to 10 minutes to cool down. When it cools down, the taste enhances. To add beauty to this, what you can do is Another indispensable or inseparable ingredient of Indian cuisines, the curry leaves. You can sprinkle some curry leaves to it. Mm, that does that beautiful. Can't wait to try it. Thank you, Ranjan. Yes. And let Karen and Polly taste this and tell you all how good it is. Or <laughs> is it okay? <laughs>